hello everyone i hope you're having a great day today so today we are making a more traditional type of house than the one that we have been making over the last few weeks so it's inspired a bit by some of the american looking houses where you have the porch out the front and it's all wooden and sort of Co not colonial but that type of type of style <laughs> so I thought the best way to start off with this house would be to put put the foundation on because I wanted to just have a little a little be raised up a little bit just so it's off the ground and I wanted to have a lot of landscaping and stuff in this build as well so it is <laughs> a little bit different than the UK houses but it's they're quite big on the bottom anyway but the the tops a little bit smaller I think there's three bedrooms all together so we've got a kind of a master bedroom a kids bedroom and then sort of a guest or a mid mid-aged bedroom as all the bedrooms seem to be make well for every every type of sim that can possibly be and it is very exciting watching all the the ea play stuff with the new island expansion pack which looks really super fun and i cannot wait to play that at the end of this month it looks super cool and especially as i haven't ever played with island stuff either so I'd be interesting to see how how all the island islandness happens. Hopefully, you can actually have like a jet skiing skill or something, a bit like the bowling skill or something. I don't know quite how <laughs> how the jet skis are going to work, but I'm super intrigued to find out if you can ride them. Obviously, we've got the mermaids as well, which looks super cool, especially as we're going to be getting a magic pack as well. I did love making this is making magic in the Sims one. That was always super fun and trying to curse people around the town and stuff. It is always good. So it'd be interesting to see what they actually do with the magic stuff. Because they always said that they weren't gonna do a magic pack and then ooh <laughs> October magic <laughs> It'd be super fun. It depends what they do. So we're just getting witches and wizards or whether we're getting like more than just that whether we're gonna get some some different type of magic more like harry pottery type of magic or whether we're gonna have new career in the magic that'd be quite funny whether you could be like a proper sorcerer or you're like a magician <laughs> and you can have different scales that would be quite funny where you like your first gig for like going to kids parties <laughs> that'd be super funny <laughs> and then you have to work your way up to being like sorcerer supreme ah <laughs> uh, you have to start somewhere though <laughs> not everyone can swan off to nepal together get their special powers <laughs> And we finally put the roof on this this house. It took me a while to sort out what type of roof I wanted to go for, but we've got we've got one that kind of connects all the way through. I kind of wanted to make the upstairs look as though it's quite built into the roof as well, so it's not like huge <laughs> monstrosity on the top. It's kind of nicely settled in. I think the the little balcony bit helps with that as well. And tried to make it have some traditional features obviously all the stuff from cats and dogs is perfect for this type of build and all the windows and stuff as well we've got a few big windows about and i thought it'd be quite nice to make a little feature of the the bigger upstairs area and have one of the one of the nice windows the three windows to go on the top even though you can't go up to that part or it's not it's not even usable but it does look nice <laughs> and we are all all about the aesthetic <laughs> of your the outside of your house probably some of the windows don't match up in like height as well either because i was trying to use the the alt key to put them where i wanted to it's quite nice to use some nice big windows as well so the house itself is going to be this nice stone stone gray and a light blue as well which 
works quite nicely against the grey. It makes it a little bit more, a little bit more lighter. And we've got obviously we've got a nice big driveway, planning out where we want all the stairs and stuff for the back garden as well. And we've got this. I wanted to have a, a gazebo outside, especially for seasons players, and obviously it will get more water and summer stuff coming soon. So it will be good to utilize the outside space as much as possible there's going to be a pool outside as well so it is, it is a very in using the outdoors and the indoors in this house and using them together <laughs> and we also have a front a nice little front garden as well with lots of flowers later on so we're going to sort out the inside <laughs> and make all the different rooms quite a like a bit more of an unusual layout to what I normally do but obviously I was trying to go trying to go for a little bit of an older house so it's a little bit more piggledy piggledy than I would normally <laughs> normally do but I think that makes it a little bit more interesting you here you can see how small the upstairs actually is so we only get a few a few rooms and a bathroom up here as well but if you're only playing with a few sims then it's a <laughs> all you need upstairs really is the bathroom and some bedrooms so you've got everything you need downstairs and using some of the strangerville banisters and all sorts of fun stuff like that as well which is <laughs> one of the reasons why i wanted to do a more traditional build because i actually haven't used them properly in a build yet so it's always fun to have some Strangerville stuff. I've had a super busy weekend last weekend going to stay with my friend and we did gallery talks and we went to Greenwich to look. There's a certain place in Greenwich where you can go down onto the beach area if you've got a if you've got a proper license you can go looking for some of the artifacts that kind of wash up on the shore. So we went down with a group and we went looking for looking for different stuff because there used to be one of Henry VIII's Tudor palaces out that way. So there's loads of Tudor pottery and tiles and all sorts of stuff and like animal bones and chinaware and all all really interesting little bits. So I managed to pick up a <laughs> a eight no a sixteenth pre 16th century roof tile and some bits of pot and <laughs> some other interesting bits and there was quite a few few people there as well so it was a really nice sunny day so it was a good day for going <laughs> going and doing that sort of thing but now with all the socializing I am like literally exhausted and don't want to see anyone ever again <laughs> until the next week <laughs> which is very funny <laughs> just like hiding myself away for the week i may go out <laughs> I may go out late like today or tomorrow or something i'll have to do something by the end of the week <laughs> but you always should should rest up and get some rest after you've been adventuring and exploring about different parts and here is our living room we finally furnished it while i've been rambling along we've got a living area where the stairs are and then we've got a office area where the where they i kind of imagined that they've knocked the wall down but they kind of had to keep the supports up for the upstairs so we've got this nice little cut cutaway area for the study but we've still got like the pillars and the beams across to kind of separate it off a bit so it's still its own unique little room but it's obviously very separate from <laughs> from the actual living space as well and everything's quite quite small and compact in this house considering the the, start, the size of it and then in here we have a kitchen and living and dining space so because it was a a little like an l-ish shape i thought it'd be quite interesting to have the kitchen in this little nook part and have the fridge around the corner so obviously we've got some big windows and stuff and i wanted to use those more for 
setting and viewing and stuff as well so I thought the kitchen would work in quite nicely tucked away here it means also that your sims can be like cooking stuff separately to whatever's happening in the rest of this room we've also got a bathroom over to the left <laughs> I always have to remember which which way it is over in the left and we have put some of the washing machine and tumble dryer in there as well so if you want to do laundry stuff then you have that as well especially as you can't really put it in the kitchen area and I thought it'd be quite nice to have a little island here as well with just a little extra prep, prep space using the ones that have the little shelves underneath as well just to make it look as though there's a lot more storage space and obviously one way you can't well walk around in but you can walk around the other side just so you have a little bit of space it kind of defines the kitchen area as well because it's be quite nice to put some dog or pet stuff here and we've got one of the radiators as well which i wish they would patch so that they would actually work as radiators in this corner i did want to put one of the cupboards but it looked really odd just by itself so we put in some shelves some different shelving bits it kind of fits in very nicely into that corner and it kind of makes it look like as though you've got more clutter there than you actually have a few of the glass bottle pots and stuff and a few clutter items we've got the bread bin and the bottles of wine as well which is always fun to put put in the kitchen also in this build i kind of furnished the room before i put the wallpaper in which is something sometimes i do do that in case like when i'm not feeling what i want to put like what the color of the room will be so i kind of kind of use the objects this time to dictate what what colour and theming we're going for. Obviously all the floors are already done because I wanted a certain type of wood look <laughs> throughout the house. Kind of a little bit more of a not too traditional wood but kind of as though they have proper wooden floors. We've got some of the parent losing a lot of the parenthood stuff in here because that always looks like a good family family home type of thing. We've got a little sofa area over here using one of the I don't know whether it's one of the new swatches or one of the old ones because we never used that so far but a kind of creamy one that goes with the colours that we've got going on in here and then a parenthood table and chairs as well in the grey blue sort of colour scheme we're going for got some very warm tones mixed with some very cool tones in here so kind of all fits with how the outside of the house is as well kind of a good good mix of everything and here we are in the bathroom so we've got a nice big family bathroom down here and then one upstairs as well i can feel my voice going from just the weekend already it's still still being destroyed uh it's a wonder i don't like start falling asleep at the end of this we've got the washing basket in here next to the shower and a the toilet and stuff. I used a little bit of a cheaper toilet in this build because the other ones just didn't feel right to me. <laughs> Needed a certain certain looking toilet <laughs> in this build. And a lot of the it took me a while to find some some tiles that I wanted and I wanted the matching skirting board and I was just like I'm sure I'm sure there was one that matched this with just a plain wooden bit and the, the thingy on top so I'm trying to find like go through all the swatches and in the end I had to switch on the the actual like pack <laughs> so I could find it and I was just like oh that's that, that, my favorite colorway on that <laughs> on that Caribbean swatch it was such a tease for what we're going to be getting like they did that pack like perfectly and then here i am finding the right one that matches which goes with the rest of our color scheme that we have about the place I'm using that nice peach color everywhere as well with the white which kind of goes with all the white doors and all sorts of stuff in, around the place so in our our hallway upstairs we've got a nice old clock now we've got a little bit more of a modern cabinet as well it's not too much stuff in here because it's obviously very narrow it's only one tile 
at the stairs itself, but we've got kind of a wider bit here, so it's a good place to pop a table in and some decorations as well. I've never used that pig statue yet, so I was just like throwing in items that I don't normally use. And I've got a nice, nice little rug as well, but it's just, just a nice little transitional space. The lighting in here was like really bizarre. I don't know why that wall constantly wanted to be black, but it did. In the screenshot, you'll be able to see it better because it doesn't doesn't go that colour when you're in the in the mod that I use to go into tab mode <laughs> while you're in build mode. So that wall that wall is is all right. In here, we're going for a very green and dark wood sort of natural theme in here just to contrast with everything else all the other colors and stuff i love putting the the new like notebooks about the place as though people have been writing diaries or doing notes and stuff by their computer i think we need more objects like that because it's super i guess it looks really lived in as though the sims are actually like kind of living <laughs> I just said that but it makes it more lifelike than just having like closed books about the place because normally like you leave magazines and stuff open or you've got your like coffee table book that you kind of leave open just to make yourself look a little bit more fancy than you actually are and then you're trying to pick trying to pick a nice wallpaper a nice gray stripy one I always forget about all the colorways on that wallpaper it's always always forget what we actually have because we have so much stuff now that I can never remember. <laughs> never remember. And also in that bedroom we have a built-in wardrobe as well. That is our that's our master bedroom, and that's what they'd need a little bit more storage than normal. In here we've kind of got our our transitional bedroom. Maybe it's a guest bedroom, or it can be teen, a young adult bedroom. And we're kind of going for a a minty and more oh what's the word <laughs> can't remember the wood uh beach or something like that birch wood or something <laughs> I'm trying to think of like minecraft trees which is so bad i haven't played that in ages we got a nice built-in desk and shelving area we've got an alexa as well up here probably set some of you guys off if you have it it's like they they Spoil tease the one of the questions for the Sims game on the Alexa, and people are like, "What? We don't have this pack yet. What is this?" <laughs> so that was quite funny, and we got a few few cushions about. I made sure the side table was the same color as the the rest of the furniture in here. I think we go for a nice like yellow wallpaper just to go with go with the minty green and stuff we thought it was quite nice to put a lava lamp in here just to just to make a little bit more of a different color in here get some pink and it does does not doesn't look as pink once we get the wallpaper and stuff in but we've got some of the, the nice sheer curtains as well and it's always so hard to put the curtain where you want it to first but you have to move the I have to move the window, otherwise I can't get it on. <laughs> it's always a good tip if you can't put your curtain where you want it to. Just move that window, remember where it goes. Then in here we have a kid's bedroom, so we're going for a green, green minty theme in here. Just to make it, make it a little bit more themed <laughs> than the other minty bedroom. Which isn't which isn't so minty, but they've got this kid obviously wanted to go extra extra minty. I wish I did something interesting in here where I put use the little like nook we have at the front as a little craft area. I kind of imagined that it used to be a bathroom or like a wet room or something and they turned it into a place where the kid can make as much mess as possible. So I put tiles in it and actually make it into a little chemistry area so they, your child can go in there and explode everything <laughs> and do not make too much mess because you, you can wipe the tiles down <laughs> once they're finished just quite a fun fun thing to do and put some blinds up as well because it's this our bedroom has a lot of big windows but then it is quite quite a dark long space quite an unusual shape for a bedroom 
kind of more a box room <laughs> and then we've got a master bathroom here again with double sink and a built-in shower and stuff as well so at least if someone's downstairs then you can use the one upstairs and then we work on our garden area so i thought we needed a great seating area under the belt under the little gazebo area so we're using the seasons seating stuff and obviously because we've got diagonals it was perfect for the diagonal seats as well using the matching sofa for the the other opposite one so you can sim can properly chill out along there we've got a barbecue and we've also got another little seating area down the other side as well kind of separate the garden into like three sections so we've got the, the patio area and gazebo is kind of like the social area this side where we're putting all the planters and stuff is kind of these like skill and laundry area so we've got one of the laundry washing lines out the back kind of tucked away and then behind the gazebo we kind of got a more natural area with some like trees and an overgrown well in it as well <laughs> well 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 and we've got put in a picnic table as well with an umbrella because that's that's in the section that doesn't have <laughs> any shade and we kind of got a kids area with the swing and then we've got a pool area out the front here that also follows along the diagonal of the gazebo as well i was considering putting a roof over the top of the plants and stuff but then i thought it's such a small space and it didn't, didn't quite work out as i envisioned it so we've got a nice big pool area and kind of splits the garden off i do a few plant like planting like off camera because it took <laughs> it took a while to get all the plants and stuff and then we've got extended the path around the, so you can get on the the back of the house and in the side, different sides of the house as well using some of the cats and dogs trees to make some nice big big plants and then using some of the smaller smaller ones as well using three different sizes and three different types as well just to get a little bit more variety in because it always if you like pick one plant it looks a little bit dull so <laughs> i thought it'd be best to go and use a few different plants and stuff i can't remember whether i think i do do the front of this like the planting it would be quite nice to line the front with bushes as well instead of like a proper fence it kind of makes it a little, look a little bit more natural and the front of the house is kind of a show as well so they want to make it look as super nice and luscious and well planted as possible so kind of going through all the different plants that we have at the moment and making this like nice luscious border of flowers a very english style of planting very country country cottage garden going wraps around the side of the house as well and you put two seats on the little small like nook that we have at the front porch so you, you can sit and let your sim sit out the front and have a little drink or something like that and watch the watch the sun go down <laughs> i can't remember which way the sun sets on the floor i think i think this is afternoon so it might be might be the wrong place to watch the sun go down but do one all all around the front and make it look as though it's tied in as much as possible using a few of the like wild flower kind of grasses and stuff in this field as well to put under the trees and kind of make it a little bit more natural looking <laughs> than some of the other ones obviously i go around and do all the terrain paint underneath as well so it's not just plonked on grass <laughs> like it normally is i thought it'd be quite nice to put some roof detailing detailing on the front as well so we've got these nice supports and they've got a little vent as well which isn't near the bathroom but <laughs> i was like eh, it will it will do and we've got a drain pipe as well because obviously we've got to get, <laughs> got to get that water away and a little bit of bush growing up to the bits that you won't be able to reach and we're using the satellite dish as a, <laughs> like a sky or something thing other 
other cable or whatever <laughs> providers are available but I think it, they're using the satellite just really as to how most people with houses are <laughs> now with their little dish outside and doing our train paint all around making sure that everywhere looks as though the sims actually use it they do another border garden next to the the, the fence with the swing on it as well just to make because that area was a little bit empty and just adding in the cars on the driveway because I thought that'd be quite a nice place to park your car it's a bit further away from the house but you can also go down the back as well so here are our screenshots I hope you enjoyed this build if you did feel free to give it a like and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.